Hello. Uh, to, oh my, I'm so tired. <laughs> so, okay, all right, I gotta start this again. All right, um, yeah. So I've got the sandwich sixteen finals between Schmid and Collar, and uh, I've got Schmid playing. We have Schmid playing the. Let's get the game going. All right, we've got Schmid playing the Convocation team, and we've got Collar playing Hellfire. Sh- Schmid is running Rhino Ultron. Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, Voodoo, and Wong with Brace, Mission Objective, Sacrifice, This is a Robbery, Bane of Dambala. Caller is running Emma, Rhino, Bill, Ultron, Black Cat with This is a Robbery, Patch Up, Hellfire Club, Fallback, Brace for Impact. Uh, joining me on commentary is the host of the event, Johnny Pastrami. How's it going, Johnny? Uh, it's going great. I'm happy to be here. This is... Should be a good game. I, both these players are fantastic players. I like both of them a lot. So it's kind of sad to see one of them lose, but here we are. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be fun uh, to see. Schmidt has been really running with Convocation. He switched up a couple months ago from playing like 70-something games with uh, the Avengers. So, And he's been doing really well with them. Uh, what do you think of their uh, rosters coming into the match? Uh, I think both teams seem pretty standard. They're doing 20 points, which is big. I think, yeah, I don't know. It seems like they're both kind of like playing for scenario, like extract, grab. They both have like a grab and go play. Well, I think Collar has, actually, huh, neither of them have eyes. That's kind of surprising with how this is all set up. Neither of them have like a safe grab or anything, so. Yeah, Scrolls is uh, tricky because of the, the, you get even closer to the, the danger zone. Uh, of the uh, other team's deployment, I Schmid might use that car. Oh, I, I can't. I have to remember. I can't use my mouse at all because this is a replay <laughs> yeah. of the uh, of the event, so I can't use. Uh, but anyway, the car might bo- block the push on that side. But the uh, and also I can't adjust the camera at all. So the other scroll scroll is on the on the dump truck up there. Now I did. Yep. Um, I did adjust it in about, I don't know, maybe I'd say 15 minutes from now. <laughs> I knew I okay. adjusted the camera. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, no safe grabs. That's very interesting. I like how both players brought a a steel with Voodoo and Cat, And then both players brought Rhino with another, so another steel, like mirrored. And yep. then we've got Ultron for, like, the, uh, the killing potential here. Uh, so it's uh, really, it's like there's a lot of similarities. You can tell, I mean, which characters are, like, uh, the meta dominating character is a little bit here. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> they're both uh, very dominant. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, it looks. It looks like they're both deploying now. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's doing anything too fancy. Keeping Bill away from Voodoo is probably good. So yeah, we have Hellfire is gonna if uh, Schmidt is looking to do the attrition route with Convocation. It's gonna be a little tougher because. Hellfire has that leadership ability to trigger, which will heal them if they're on the if they're holding extracts, contesting or contesting extracts or secures, and they uh, they also have the extremist consoles, which will heal them. So they could be healing two around. Uh, it'll be tough to it'll be tough to push damage through. I think. Uh yeah, was like it kind of goes like reverse too as well, because like the wizards have the bump, and I assume he's going to be in defensive form, and any time like it's going to be really hard to like get double taps and everything onto Schmid's models. So yeah, it looks so, like, like a similar kind of thing. It looks like Schmid won priority too. I didn't uh, I didn't check that. It happened before we played uh, started playing this stream. There's the adjustment on the camera. So look at that. I uh, <laughs> had to do Perfect. a quick check two minutes in or whatever to make sure everything's going well, but. All right, yeah, so, um, yeah, this is, I'm not really sure. Uh, Schmidt did say that he likes, he really likes playing 20 threat with his team because he can fit in, um, like, more better stuff with his splashes and keep Strange on the board. And and I think he's played this 20 threat team on a stream at least once before. So uh, he's, uh, or something similar enough. Maybe he played 18 and brought Rhino, or brought, sorry, he played at 19 and brought lizard instead of rhino but they're uh um yeah so he's pretty comfortable playing at these higher threats with convocation yeah absolutely yeah i don't really too much about like college preferences i've not seen him play much outside of brotherhood so and he's like a very good brotherhood player so yeah and i think similar so didn't he um i i 
I remember him be going to WTC or something. Yeah, he was know? part of the yeah, he was the Swedish team. Okay, okay, yeah, so. yeah. All right, so that he's already and each of them went like four and one, I think at least or something like that, or maybe there yeah, was. Yeah, I think a, he a, went so. four one. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you know he's uh, yeah, two very good players here. This is uh, this is exciting. Yep. Yeah, Ultron and Ultron is interesting because they both have helmet, correct? If I recall correctly. Uh, like the Ultron does? Ultron, yeah. I would, uh, like a similar effect. It's not called that. It's called Ultron he can't powers be activate adjusted. or something. Yeah. Right. So we can't yep. be advanced or placed by mystic attacks or superpowers? Yep. Uh, which can definitely be a big deal because Schmidt is going to rely on like Strange possibly to like scalpel models to like kind of control the map and right so he can't he can't scalpel yeah. uh he can't scalpel ultron is that what you're saying yep correct and then emma also can't move right, ultron that, which is kind of fun yeah yeah i don't you wouldn't want to, emma uh, attacking ultron anyway just because he's got that double wild so it's like <laughs> right. it'd be like a desperation kind of situation maybe uh if we're in that position for sure, yeah. I think Emma's going to be on beat up Rhino duty for the most part, based on all the Schmidt's models. They're all pretty uh, tanky into Mystic, so. Yeah, so it looks like we've got Schmidt fully deployed with Strange in the middle, Rhino and Ultron on the north flank, and we've got Voodoo and Wong in the middle as well, with Voodoo on the south flank. And then we have on Caller's side, he's got Rhino in the middle with Black Cat and Emma and Ultron all near the middle with uh, the. Um, with Bill and the Grunts, Ultron drones on the top side. So he's he's kind of abandoned the bottom flank. He's gonna let Voodoo just grab that uh, extract for free. I think here, and I think that I mean that makes a little bit. I can see the the thinking behind that. Like Voodoo has to double walk to get there, and if he doesn't roll a crit or a wild on the two dice he gets, he is going yeah, to really he's bad. not going to be off on the point anymore. So. Uh, yeah, I can see uh, the thinking there. So we're going to have Schmidt. Looks like Schmidt is going to double walk Voodoo because he is safe to grab it. Yeah, I think he's going to try to use, yeah, the car and, like, body block himself. Oh, I'm surprised he's... I think it, it doesn't really matter because, like, he's just going to yeah, go... Yeah. yeah, there he is. Okay, there he's yeah. doing it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that way, like, even if he gets, like, pushed, it's not going to be, like, as apocalyptically bad. Because it'll have to be like basically in a straight line to the center, where Strange can could poten can potentially like protect him and like scalpel him back if need be. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see what he gets. He got the wild anyway. Oh. Yep, he's safe. Perfect. All right. I uh, I think I must have left my Discord chat open during the stream, so I'm just gonna mute it so that I don't get a bunch of Discord notifications if I. All right. Um, all right, so yeah, we've got Ultron. He's got a medium base with a medium move, which would allow him to pick up the scroll in a single move. Black Cat could do it as well, but Color is uh, going with Ultron here. And he's looking at maybe body blocking the extremist uh, from Schmid from being able to contest it. So there we go, if that's what we're seeing. And then Ultron is probably going to move up in a single move and grab this scroll, and then rotate to whatever side of the board or uh, where that makes sense for him so let's see what he does with that action yep. maybe they'll both just abandon that one and leave it all there for <laughs> the grunts <laughs> to fight over yeah probably, and, and probably not it's like it's too yeah it's the score it's like if anyone gets like a one point lead here um then it's just gonna they're gonna maybe they're gonna start uh, rotating and then I don't know it's it's tricky I I have a problem where I as soon as I have the a, like a tiny smidgen of a lead I immediately like stop attacking and sometimes yeah, that, that uh, sometimes uh, that bites me in bite the butt you. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so there's the Ultron move and uh, so let's see if he if he gets that voodoo voodoo rolling that wild is uh on two dice was really big for schmid on uh on either tying or maybe getting a one point lead here let's see yeah i think it's like a 25 percent to hit that so right he rolled well <laughs> all right so it we're having like him rotate towards the rest of his team kind of halfway 
I yep. mean, it seems reasonable to be able to He'll for sure be able to two tap, I'm sure, next round because everyone else will kind of collapse into the this middle of the board soon enough. He's size three, so he's not gonna get cover anywhere that is in the action. So uh Johnny, you um you are setting up uh, 17, which I think is already full. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. And it's uh, 30. It's 32 <laughs> players. Do you have a? What was your thinking making it a 32 player event this time? Uh, I'm very lazy, and running two events was a bit. I mean, it was fine, but it's just easier if it's all in like one spot for me, and it ends up being about the same amount of players for like one extra week. Yeah. So right, right. it's it's not the worst thing. So. Yeah. How fast did it fill up? It filled up in like a day or a day and a half or something. Uh, I, I think it was. Yeah. Like. Day and a half, two days, I want to say. I wasn't keeping, like, perfect track of it. I yeah, know that, yeah. like, like, the first, like, couple hours, like, a bunch of people showed up, and then people just trickled in. I think there's four people on the wait list right now, too, so. Wow, yeah, that's uh, that's nice. A lot of people want to play the game. Yeah, it's been really great, yeah. And, yeah, the game's getting popular. I've, like, seen some other, like, online events, too, popping up, and those seem to be, like, pretty popular and filling up as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Nick uh, Nick had a 16-player event, I think, and at the same time as your two events, which had, like, yep. what? What did you have? How many players you had, like, total? Like, it must have been, uh, like I think 40-something. 40 40 40 something yeah, between yeah. the two events, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of lot of games going on online right now, even during the mid, uh, the mid, the break between TTS seasons, which is, like... Uh, haven't seen too much of that, but so it's really uh, a lot of people staying. Um, I don't know, just like staying, uh, getting a lot. They're getting their practice in, or like yeah, I guess like absolutely. it depends on what you're what you want to do, right? I guess uh, I pr- I only said that because I I put a lot of uh, effort into the TTS leagues personally. Sure. So I th- I think I like these uh, your events you host to like get me keep me ready or get me ready for those and uh but some people of course could put more weight into your events because they're uh they're rated or like the uh which is like appealing to a lot of players chasing after trophies and badges and things like that on long shanks for sure yeah yeah i think kind of like it that way i like having like a little bit more stakes on there because there's not like prizes or anything because free online events so you know having like some rating and like some like points like create people like make sure people are like interested in like paying attention or whatever is like good so yeah the little i agree that re- making the rating like we're we're gamers all right we love uh we love getting <laughs> achievements and and uh and all that and that uh, we've got schmidt here he's moving rhino looks like a double walk into a body block on the scroll uh it was a single walk and then he threw horns at the ultron grunt spoofed his pants did no damage and then he placed over Oh god! I th- actually think he uh, connected for one damage. Is what it looks like. Oh, so. I see. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. He did the gore. Yep. Okay, that's why he has two power. I'll get it. Now I'm all connecting all the dots. See, I can't talk and pay attention. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's a huge good. liability on a on a first streamer. <laughs> yeah, <it's> not <laughs> ideal. Uh, looks like he's. I think he's just in range, and now he's like waffling on whether or not he wants to pick it up. Is what it looks like. Softlo definitely a uh, risk <laughs> to do that. So Softlo says that you can place. He might you might be able to place on the uh, strange. I'm gonna take a quick look at this card. Uh, you would see here. This character cannot be pushed or advanced, so you can be placed uh, by metal mind. Like metal mind doesn't prevent Doctor Strange's scalpel. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Although um, she, Emma does have shield mind, right? Oh yes, so she yes. could potentially she could stop it. it. So. Yeah, yeah. So you were right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised Schmidt just didn't go with his Ultron and just go and grab that objective and just kind of like take control of it and then just have both sides of the map kind of locked down and like both extracts. Yeah, it is interesting because then you'd have to go into the enemy territory to pick up the uh, the sc- sc- scroll closest to Doctor Strange, and and uh, we're having Black Cat um, go here. I don't think she would have been able to get the scroll because the body blocking on Rhino, and uh, she can't climb. She doesn't have wall crawler, so she cannot climb. That would have prevented her from 
picking up the flank, so she's going into enemy territory here a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, we'll uh, see how this plays out. I know with Wong, he could potentially like get a power, give one to Strange. Strange can then like scalpel up pretty much into range of her and just like double tap her, which uh, might be bad <laughs> for Black Cat. Yeah, uh, Schmidt has said on stream or somewhere before that this is something that he likes to do: is the Wong give a power to Strange as an opening. Yep. So, sure. and we do have a push here on Black Cat. Oh, Uh-oh. so well, so, never mind. Never don't mind. even need to worry about it. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> Long can walk up and just punch her in the face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, the only the only issue here is that like if you only put a, a one damage through or something like that, the the uh, we've got the Hellfire Club leadership to trigger, so she can get For shield sure. in between activation. So let's see uh, how that gets handled. But uh, Schmidt has got to go here with Ultron, Strange, or Wong. Yeah, especially with Brace, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know if there's, like, too much fear over there on, like, the top side of the map by, like, that scroll and everything. I think, um, I can't tell exactly, but I think Rhino is currently on the point as well. Yeah. From, like, the looks of it. I see, like, a white line kind of <laughs> above his car, like, above his, like, little model, so. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I think that's kind of what, uh. The old, the grunts could have maybe done a better job of blocking, but it is hard. I think I have like fooled around with like body blocking on this map like uh before to see like what that mm -hmm. entails and um I it might have been possible to block Rhino here, but it is tricky uh having only one model to body block. It's like it's when you get like that second or third model where it's like you it's actually becomes a thing usually. Yep. Okay, so we've got the drones moving up, looking like probably a shot into Black Hat is what it looked like they were eyeing up. Yeah. Okay, unless right. you're getting rolled. I guess we'll find out here. Yeah. Uh, probably the drone, or probably the drones. It looks like because he just rolled two dice, so. Okay, and we had no damage, so we've got Ultron now looking like a double move. He's got flight, so no issue getting on the point or anything yep, exactly. like that. Uh, Ultron also has a size 4 throw, correct? Yeah. I believe, yeah. So that could be pretty spicy for next turn. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see. Well. Uh, so Ultron has uh, no power. He's going to roll. He'll need to get some power somehow to be able to do that, but... Uh, um, uh, we've got Hellfire. Also, he's going. <laughs> the Hellfire Ultron will uh will get that extra power going into round two. Having uh, yep. he'll have want you'll have what uh, three power two. or like I guess like after if you trigger the leadership early on in round two, he'll be able to have three power before he activates, um, giving him that throw online before it begins. But I would imagine we're gonna see Schmid throw that size four terrain opening round two. Because you don't want it to be thrown into you. Exactly, yeah. Although he's going to have to generate some power to get there. Because he's currently at zero. He'll have to get one or like two more power. And yeah. I'm thinking like Rhino. Maybe an earlier Rhino activation would. Because uh, he'd be on. Uh... Oh, let's see what happens here though. We're going to get an Emma move and do a, an attack into Rhino. Yep. Yeah, and Emma's on the point too, which is just perfect. Right where you want her. Oh, Schmidt's rolling. Hot oh, there defense. we go. Yep, and uh, but it still pushes one through and uh, an advance. Yep. Okay, just getting him off the point. Uh, you also don't want him to advance onto your point, but I don't think that's possible. I think the Emma's body blocked it. There's like on with this truck here. There's like um. On the side opposite that Rhino is on, there's like one spot where your model, when where one model can fit. It's like almost exact. It's just less than one uh, full inch between the side of the extremist console and the other side of the van, the truck. Yep. Um, it's so it's, that often, uh, and when you play this map, um, like with a, a secure such as this, like that often is like sometimes it comes up as a very important 
um, factor. It's very easy to body block on that side. But anyway, yeah. uh, we have Rhino not taking the advanced trigger. It looks like or just opting not to move anywhere. Makes uh, he's, I think he's, he's weighing oh, here we go. options here. Yeah, he's going to do the advance, and I think he's going to try doing the bump then after. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Because he has both, both as well, yeah. Yeah, because the damage, the advance is triggered on damage, and so is the leadership trigger. Yeah, so he can do gonna... one and then the other. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can get back over there, unfortunately. Uh, the the bike yeah, is. yeah, and the, yeah, that's right. Just kind of stay in the angle. Dang. That maybe a glorious bumps, play. Maybe, maybe he, like, <laughs> yeah. bumps backwards? I don't know. No, okay. He's just he's nudging just... up to the bike, and then he's yep. going to bounce over it. Yeah, just get back over to the point. All right, well, now we... So I think he did that to get range two on the truck. Uh, yep, yeah, to pick it up and throw it right away, which should be pretty good. Yeah, get up there, Wong. <laughs> get in the game. All right, so there's a... Oh, he's going for the punch. He's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, two and a, nothing, okay. All right. Uh, what just happened there? Sorry, what am I missing? He, okay, he gave the... Well, how did he do all that? Uh, it's two power to do the... How did he have a second power? Oh, he didn't attack. He, I don't think he attacked. I didn't, Did I see dice roll? Uh, I thought they rolled dice, yeah. I think we did. I don't think. I guess we'll have to see next time they roll. But I, I don't. I think they actually ended up. He ended up not rolling into her. I mean, it would make sense to not roll into her because you're just giving her power, probably only doing one damage, which Hellfire fixes anyway. Yeah. So it it would make sense to not attack her. I think I don't think we saw. Okay. Anyway, we got Beta Ray Bill moving callers. Beta Ray Bill rotating up to the north extremist flank. So now he's winning that flank. Yep. And um. They both have two scrolls each. Ultron on color side has a scroll, but it's just not showing up on the overlay. Right. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. See, we did. We saw. Oh, we did see a roll. He spent one power on Wong to go to zero to give Doctor Strange one power. So I did, is that like a mistake? Uh, yeah, it might be a misplay. Yeah, that's kind of what it's. Oh, that's a bummer. Like. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have to check strange. in with uh, check in with Schmidt after that to see like what what happened there. Maybe there was a there was a communication that happened uh, that we didn't hear. Yeah. Black, maybe he, like okay. decided like he like aborted the attack because like the dice were in the air or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Black had uh, got hit four damage from Doctor Strange here. Big hit. Uh, because it's five with a pierce, and so she rolled two blocks, so it took four. And yep. it looks like we're probably considering doing it again. Yeah, there's the roll. Three into one. That's enough. Yeah, wow. We'll uh, take her out and just uh, get that nice little scroll for Mr. Strange. Yep. I don't know if... I didn't know if they checked the the range on the dropping it or not. He did, yeah. He, okay, he, he measured did. it out, yeah. So we have fallback being played here to prevent the grab. Uh, uh I don't know if it's going to prevent the grab. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm preventing the grab just before. Forcing, uh, oh, hold on. Oh, we <laughs> opted not to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we did not decide not for it. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Strange would have, um, I'm sure he would have paid for or something like that to teleport and grab the scroll. Exactly. Uh, and I think that's yeah. why he opted not to play fallback anyway. Yep. Okay. Probably going to teleport himself up. Softlow says the punch gains. Yeah, the uh, I, the results on the oh, dice. Oh, it's just a that. flag gainer. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a gainer. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's why he did the punch because it didn't matter how much he attacked. And that's why. Yeah, I was just trying this, to so this is damage. this is yeah. why I'm like I don't have like I don't want to call it a pet peeve, but like I personally like to uh, like not be like oh what's my net what's the net amount. And just shortcut my power up and down. I like to actually like hit the buttons and be like, okay, if if Wong gained one, I add one, and then if then Wong loses two, I subtract two. Yep, no, um, I'm, I'm the same way too. I like being very thorough about that as well. So, but uh, but it looks like Schmidt is like is cutting corners. <laughs> yep, it's a nightmare for us, but he's <laughs> just being as efficient as possible. So I guess I respect it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's not a, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, shows what we know about Wong, I guess, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, I didn't know. 
How could I have known? Who plays this guy? <laughs> okay, so we've got Rhino. He doesn't have a lot to do. Um, and it's like, uh, you might, you probably are just kind of stuck staying maybe on the back point so that you don't take any damage and you gain extra power. Uh, or do you, or do you, or is it net? Uh, I'm, now I'm trying to like math out like the, how does the power gain work on if you stand on an extremist versus you take the damage? It, you want to stand on the extremist because you'll be at two power. Yes. Because you yep, lose yeah. the power. You lose power if you're off of it. Yeah. So you you would, it's uh, the difference of staying neutral or gaining up one. So that's why we're seeing Rhino. See, this is what I told, this is what I said. I, I can't believe it came into play, but yes, there's one little teensy weensy spot directly one inch away on the other side of the truck. Yeah, I kind of see it popping out there. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is, yeah. He coin flipped so, on the wrong pixel, but whatever. That's fine. They know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The uh, All right, so we've got Hellfire Club triggering, and there's the power gain, Black Hat. Oof. It's just sad. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, We want. So this is um, interesting with scrolls. I am... Um, and uh, is that... If your opponent grabs a flank scroll, like it's just tricky, but in this case where neither player had a way to grab your opponent's scroll, like in the middle of the board, if someone grabs a flank scroll, your immediate response is, should be to grab the other flank, or else um, if they grab that flank, it means the two that you have to grab are the two in the middle, meaning you have to cross the, the board edge, the middle of the board on round one. And of course, like that puts you in the spots where you're put in now with Black Hat, like Black Hat having to dive that because he didn't uh, react and grab the um, the flank scroll right away. I think was a mistake. Uh, I, I've yeah, he could have like sent either. Uh, he should have sent Bill basically. I Bill to get it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, should have sent Bill to grab the flank before he went for the middle. He opted for the middle first because like he that was his like quotes uh safe grab right he had yeah um but yeah i think that uh people i think people should uh be watching for that a little more uh because i mean i was able to utilize it in a, in a game that i played against uh, like uh in the tts league where it's like i my opponent uh i was able i mean like i basically like i i you i knew he had to do that and in response i had a toad in the middle of the board that could grab the opponent's scroll so, uh, yeah, there's, um, you can use that to your advantage too. Like you can set up like a terrible position for your opponent to, if they have to grab the flank, you can, maybe you have the tools to grab their opponent's scroll. Anyway, we've got a round, uh, two, we've got five to three for Schmid, uh, after round one, which is a very strong, uh, round. And we have him opening with a rhino activation. Yep. What did what did he do here? Uh, he... uh I think he rhino him and then he rolled on the scroll, failed. Schmidt is walking back to the point, it looks like. Okay, gotcha. Wow, full activation in like 30 seconds, this guy's... Uh, no, he's just had a plan, I guess. Yep. Yeah, he was within one of Ultron, so it was pretty Oh, wow. Like pretty oh, yeah, right, that's he bumped. right. Yeah, that's what he the did. Bump. He was aggressive mm. and then bumped to get right into position. Okay, so it was the it was that that set up. Now, he left the terrain on the board, it looks like, then. Um, unless he... Is he doing something different? He's uh, rolling. He's attacking. Okay, he did a regular gore attack into the yep. dr into the drones, and they took one more damage. It looks like here. Uh, hold on, is that they block he's... two? They should. Yeah, they only now... had one HP left. Okay, they so took one it's one, because so. he gets to place before damage. Yep. Exactly. And so he placed, and now the grunts are the drones are going to die, which yep. will, which of course, gives Rhino more power. Uh, three power from the one yeah. from the attack and then that, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's quite a bit here. And yeah, so there we go. Oh, here's and there's the train throw that we were uh, expecting. A size four. Yep. Uh, all right, Vodka Blitz is here. Thanks uh, for joining our stream. Yeah, this is the finals of the Sandwich Sixteen event. So. Uh, two great players here, and uh, let's see what Color does in response to now. Uh, Schmidt has four, all four scrolls. That's pretty big. I, you don't see that very often. I think uh, things have gone his way so far. Uh, yep. 
<laughs> There's mm, okay. nothing really to say about that. Like uh, four scrolls on on uh, beginning of round two. Yeah, so beta ray block two, tough hided one, and then took two. So seems decent. This yeah, was from probably... this was from the terrain throw. Yeah, the size four throw. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't brace, but I guess it makes sense just because between the extremist council and then also. Yeah, your leadership. Um, leadership too. Yeah, you can just. So now it's not going to matter. All back. Yeah. Now it looks like Black Cat is going in for a steal on a strange to get her property back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if. Yeah, if Collar was feeling desperate, he could go for. Uh, troublemaker into strange, kind of like stagger him, mess with him, and then if he like somehow hits the elusive, he can go in and then. Oh, I guess never mind. Then he wouldn't be able to walk away. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay. Yeah. Just, so, are yep. you? The question is: Is he in or out? Oh, that is rough. Um. Well, he. Well, that was very close, but yeah, just out. That sucks because now he has. To, he's gonna stay there. Um, so you steal someone else's, maybe? Maybe you steal Rhino's? Because you're, uh, you're stuck. You're stuck. Yeah, okay, there. We're seeing. Um, we're seeing him look to steal somebody's. He can't steal Voodoo's, and it's, so it's going to be Ultron or Rhino. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd try to figure out Rhino's because it's closer. He's done with stealing. He can't steal from you anymore. Yeah, it's pretty scary over there, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's I agree. Sure. Okay, he's opting to steal from Strange. Oh, that's yeah. I'm very spot. worried. I'm very worried, but you yeah. know what? Like Strange, like he doesn't get to re-roll, right? So that that first opening was, um, was pretty good. Like it was pretty yep, good was pretty dice spiky. for yeah. Schmidt. But like the Pierce does, like I would say, like if any sort of dice effects, um, hurt Black Hat, it's definitely like the Pierce over most other things. For sure. Yeah. Oh, he's activating leadership. Okay, interesting. All right. So I wonder uh, what that what the thinking there is. But Ultron, uh, it gives power for fallback onto Black Cat. Okay. I think is the big thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And also like heals Beta Ray Bill too, protects him, and then juices up Emma even more so. She has five power now. Yeah. She's made. Yeah, just one attack only for one damage. So <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just crazy how fast Hellfire can go up. And look at that. Bill's now only taken one damage and uh, has seven power on round two. He hasn't activated yet. Yep. Yeah, I'm assuming there's going to be a spicy little spender here. <laughs> yeah, Rhino wow. has a size four, so he's going to get a big amount of dice. Yep. Yeah, he can throw him right into the Ultron Grunge too. They're like kind of away from everyone else. Get those off the table. We'll see though. Yeah. I feel bad for Voodoo. He's just like setting off on his own little. Don't feel. Do don't it. feel bad for Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although I think Voodoo's going to probably eat a Rhino to the at some point in the turn. Yeah. Because the Stampede and then you get the throw, the seven dice attack should probably poke through one point, and then you can get Rhinobrium. I guess you would need two damage, but it's still pretty likely with seven dice into four. Yep. Okay, so it is Schmidt's turn to go. So because he uh, he went with Black Cat or Caller went with Black Cat, so we're seeing uh, Strange putting the measuring tools down on Strange. So we're, th we're thinking Schmidt's going to go with him. Yep. Yeah, it's looking like he might place over there. Get within two of Ultron. Place him over if he can get like one power off of Beta Ray Bell, which is pretty likely with five die reroll all and Pierce. So. Oh, it, it, you're saying it would let you displace him after or something like that? Yeah, so no, if like, so if Strange goes, he could like scalpel himself over right into the bill, get on the point, and then he could attack into Beta Ray Bill, and yeah. then you could get the one power and then place Ultron back into relevancy. 
Because right now with where he's at, he's kind of useless. Right. Okay, I wonder who's going here. All right, we've got the drones maybe. They're rolling four. They rolled four. Okay, so does the So drones the drones right. went and then and then they backed into Rhino to uh, body block. So they must have tried to put damage through on Black Hat. And uh, okay. it didn't work out. All right. Uh, this time it's looking a bit better. So this will be That's... Ultron going into into Bill, right? Uh, yeah. So we got five into one. Pays something to take. There it is. Takes three. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a lot, Mister Ultron. Yeah. He's definitely in range three, so you can move Bill two if you need. Yeah. So I guess you you maybe. Uh... Yeah, he's just gonna crank him again and put the fear yeah. of God into Bill a little bit. That makes sense. Oh, he doesn't get it though. No successes. No, I mean he's poison bleed. Uh, he's immune to poison. So poison and bleed. Sorry, yeah. Is he immune to both of them? <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, incinerate. No, I poison, think uh, I thought it was no. It's uh, he's immune to incinerate. Wow, poison and bleed. Yep. Yeah. No, no, it's uh, yeah. Okay, it's shock is yep. the one that he's that shock is the one that you yeah can shock is the one you can stun. Push on him. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, all right, so we did uh, use the advanced trigger with or the uh, the bow on Ultron to get yep. Bill off the point. Yep. Yeah, just make him do homework if he wants to come and interact, which is just fine. Yep. Yep. He's definitely you know, feeling the pressure and going now. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. He'll. You'll see him use the extremist to get back to three health, but still, that's not. It's, you're in. Uh, uh, it's just a little nervous. Yep, for sure. Yeah, he'll get there. He has a million power, so he'll probably walk over. He might throw Rhino into Ultron and like force the brace, which I think would be like just fine. I'm pretty sure he has a line where he could just kind of go like straight. Yeah. In. Yeah. Looks reasonable to me. Yep. All right. What are we seeing? This is a robbery. Was okay. Yeah. He's just flipping the card he used already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we also have like God Hunter. Like, do you, are you saying like you could God Hunter into, ult, like into Rhino and then throw him, and then maybe throw him again into Ultron again? Potentially, yeah. We'll yeah, we'll see what he uh, decides and what order he wants to do stuff. He's got yeah, nine power is literally anything Bitter Bill wants to do. So, as a medium, is the throw on God Hunter medium or is it short? No, it's short. I but I think like the long, the size, just the size of the base of Rhino. Oh, sure, with like the base and everything. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's. Oh, he spent three power for something. Okay, he's doing the throw. Okay, so he's bringing he's just him into the him up. team. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and then he's probably going to shoot an energy laser beam at someone. Yeah. Strange has probably. flight. Shock on Strange is uh it's pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. Fine. Four. It's a significant difference. Yeah, hopefully Schmidt just doesn't roll a bunch of wilds. <laughs> that's really what right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Collar's hoping for here. Is that the roll coming through? Uh, looks like uh, it. Yep. Yep. Two hits, a crit, two points, and, and nothing on uh, Schmidt. Yeah. So is Schmidt doing the reroll. Yep, it looks like Collar is doing his reroll okay. first. Yay, his fail became a two blanks. <laughs> so, and no wilds. Damn. All right, and yeah, so we have one damage going through on Strange. Yeah, you really wanted that shock on him. Yeah. That we have a huge. bump. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the yep. bump is always like, um, <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you get to now reposition. He gets to get nice and close for where he wants to be in like range three for like the pierces. So, (laughs) 
Yep, got him easy peasy. Yeah, it makes sense to go into Bill here because if you get him, daze him, you're still going to maintain priority. If that seems, if that's the goal you want to have, uh, you can you can go into Bill here and flip him, and then maybe you have a opening activation in the next round to try to take him off the board. For sure, yeah. You could also like clean up Black Cat here as well. So. Oh yes, yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to like daze a bunch of characters and then like ignore them once they're dazed. You kind of want to. For sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, usually, you want to kind of just clean them up as you go along, and yeah, and then eventually you've got an activation advantage, and that's what carries you to the win. But let's see what uh, he does here. He doesn't have to go with strange yet. He just bumped him from the uh, from caller's turn, so he can go with a few other characters, a couple other characters. What are we seeing? Uh, three dice are being. Rolled. It must have been Doctor Strange here because here's the reroll coming in, the full reroll. Oh, sure. So it was a Indo Bill rolling oh, that's four. Oh, a spicy pierce. roll. Yeah, that's... hits the Pierce. Yeah. And lives on one. So it was it was uh, four into two, but four into one, so three pays one to take two. Yep. He's going to save his Rhino. Yeah, he sure is. He's going to go, try and be on the point, maximize within two. Good spot. I think he's just in. Rhino's coming home. Yeah. And then get him on the point too and just like absolutely like just crowd <laughs> it out. It's a perfect spot. There we go. So Strange has just spent four power to do that. Yep, uh, and let's see if he does something probably else. probably spend yeah. another one to heal himself. Yeah, perfect. And then send Bill to the Shadow Realm too, maybe. You just kind of leave him. Yeah. Off. Oh, what's going on here? He's, uh, well, he's I think he's just repositioning him, maybe. We like, had different thoughts on that. So. All right, well... Um, should have left the tool out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now, yeah, he's going to tell, looks like he's doing exactly what you thought here. Got Ultron size three. Rhino size four. So Bill could like be, uh, throwing these guys all over the place. I can, so yeah. I can see why he's opting to just like throw them back to the rest of his team. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Ultron's definitely going to do some work here, though. He's going to walk up, maybe throw something. Oh. He'll get over and then just Double like walk, walk someone off. Yep. That makes sense. So he's going to be contesting the point. He's going to bring Rhino back into Emma range again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Perfect. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah, we're going to see, and I think uh, this is a trouble for Schmid because the Spender, range 3 into Rhino, and uh, it's got a wild throw on it, which is not braceable because you can't play reactive abilities or cards against Emma. So, Oh yeah, this uh, might so, suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll Rhino. See. Yeah, so yeah, defend, defenestrator, def what is that? I don't know how to say defend it. Defenestrate, I think. Defenestrate, yeah, yeah throwing, <laughs> throwing out a window vodka blitz. That's right. Rhino's going to get thrown out the window. Uh, although it depends on the order and everything, too. Because he might make the attack first, and then oh, with yeah. bump and aggressive, he could just be out of there. Yeah, you're going to want to spend her first, I would imagine. Uh, we had For Wong sure. reposition and gain a power with a... Uh, he he must might have meditated. He could have striked, but I think you just meditate. You don't want to... Oh, hold on. They're clearing. They're rolling. What are they rolling? I think he made the attack, and he just... Oh, yeah. Here's the Emma, here's Emma's attack, I think, then, right? Uh, because yeah, they just rolled yeah. five dice on Caller. Yeah, he just did the base attack first. So uh -oh, maybe I you think, didn't uh, see the line of throwing him. Yeah. Oh, it looks so. like uh, yeah, Schmidt, Schmidt is, might have uh, forgot to aggress it. Oh, no, he's measuring for it. He's no, he's just it. bumping out. He's going to get out of the spender because he sees it as well. He's yeah. having no part of that. Yeah, that was a, a. We really wanted to see that. Yep. 
uh, that spender that, first. It's hard though, because if he spenders, then he doesn't have anyone else to attack for his second action. And he's just kind of flapping in the wind a little. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's like hard. As you're like in kind of a hard spot there with like the. Yeah, the leadership's coming into play yet again, so. And now he's, uh, that's funny that now he take he's taking the next attack. He's advancing right in there. Yep. Um. Yeah, Rhino's going to aggressive here and then just go and disrupt the point and force. Oh, okay, well, I see what happened. So yeah. he had, so he advanced um he advanced Rhino towards him. Yep, yeah. And then and, and then Rhino, he aggressive. Yeah. He's like, "All right, well, if I'm coming if I'm coming in, then I'm coming in. <laughs> I'm going in all the way." Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh he is in range for Rhinobri though, so that'll kind of flip everything back into Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, if Rhino if uh Color's Rhino does go after Schmidt's Rhino though, it does like stop uh Voodoo from getting affected so he's just going to get another two points on this side of the board it looks like he's checking to see like where voodoo can place yeah he's yeah he like walked once and then he's like well it's not safe up there everywhere is not safe so we'll just go for do you um all right so with rhino here do you go after voodoo uh, or do you you've got so emma's already gone and okay it looks like he's he is going after rhino i oh, mean i don't know like i feel like you kind of have to slow the game down a little bit and go after Voodoo. Uh, so you steal it from Voodoo. You, you do, do you lose it? it back? Yeah. But like with Voodoo though, like he'll probably like roll a skull, probably get some damage and then he'll just steal it back immediately. And you just kind of lose your right. Whereas stealing from Rhino, you're he's already blown it. So yeah, that is, that so is fair. So, so yeah. And he's looks like he's going to go and contest that point over there. Softlo, Softlo is saying, uh, Softlo is saying, Voodoo just big chilling over there, happy as a clam. Yeah, like it's like the thing (laughs) is with Voodoo is that now he's already, um, what am I trying to say? It's that like he's done the thing that he usually would spend power and steel to do, which is like get a piece and like hang out on the side. Uh, Is two points for a four threat character enough to justify them staying uh, out of action? I yes. think that most games uh, it is. Th- thousand percent, yes. I am happy. If I have my two four point points a turn, that is... They couldn't be doing anything better, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that... Uh, but as soon as you get, like, more than that, it, it becomes... I think I think four is, like... I mean, I guess it really depends on how fast the game is going and what the action is on the other side. For sure. Um, but yeah. uh, but I think like as soon as you get to a five threat doing that, you uh, you're like, oh, I really need my five threat to be getting me like more than two victory points a turn. Um, I um, generally. Yeah, it really depends on the context, but yeah, four is I'm pretty. Comfortable Especially if with you're winning, five, if you're winning, yeah. like Schmidt is right here. V- yeah, Voodoo you're not rotating. All good. Is, yeah. yep, just leave him. He's fine. So we had uh, the. So we had the robbery play. That's why uh, Rhino Schmid's yep. Rhino is off the point. And then what? It, what? It, what am I seeing here? What just happened? Okay, there? so Rhino robbery happened. Rhino failed the pickup, so he oh, there's the push <laughs> yeah. back in, and then yeah, now the he's walking again. Yeah. All right. So there's this first. The second walk was to there. Yep. And, and so he their points. round is over, and yep. we're scoring. Uh, what are we scoring? Four, four to four. four yeah, yeah four to like. three, right? Or uh, uh, four, four. Yeah, because it was five, three, and now it's nine, seven. So they went four, four. We kept it. Okay, so weekend. what am I? Where am I missing the point? The secures on uh, on collar side. Uh, so collar collar got has... this uh, this Ultron one. Like Schmidt is not on the point with Doctor Strange. I uh, thought he was. Maybe, maybe he is. Yeah, might it's... not be. Maybe he is. Yeah. Do they add wrong? Because, yeah, Schmidt has two and two for sure, and then I think Collar has one and... Yeah, I think they're recalculating their math right now. Okay, just based on where things are, yeah. They're... I think they're, like, trying to redo, like, the first round or something <laughs> with their hands. It's it's funny to try to guess up there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We got the tabs out, so you know that uh, it's uh, they're they're thinking pretty hard here. But yeah, it should be so. It should be nine to six then, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, 
Schmid getting four and Collar getting three. Yep. Okay, well, I don't know. Let's let's continue. Let's see what happens. I, I guess hopefully this doesn't, I guess we'll see. Hopefully this <laughs> yeah. doesn't uh uh, this doesn't affect the the game or who who wins and loses, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, like it's this this is how it is. It's just how the game is. Right? You can't um, play perfectly. This is all. That's why they have like penalties in sports. Yep, exactly. Here in the box, yeah, so we're, in the... we're throwing the truck and beta ray bill is what it looks like. Okay, so we had like the stick out, forcing bill. grace out. I'm assuming. Yep. And Nick says, that, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Then after that, I mean, he has like two attacks and he can kind of like daisy chain back into Ultron from the looks of it, <laughs> which is kind of great, into his own friendly Ultron. Because if right. he attacks into like Rhino or Bill, you can go to the other side, throw it on that. Yeah. And just get the hell out of there. Okay. So he is doing his uh, pay three power for the uh, Stampede. Is that what I'm seeing? Or uh, he did that already, and then he just bought the throw, and then beta ray. Oh, okay. He did the stampede it. first. Okay, I see. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm seeing. Yeah, I got right into up. seven yeah. dice. It should be seven dice then, right? Yeah, he's gonna throw seven dice here. At... But he rolled. Uh, he rolled five. Oh no! Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong. Okay, we're, we're I'm good. I'm caught up. Schmidt is yeah. the red side. The red's <laughs> yeah. the red rhino attacking. Yeah. This is what happens when you get so many characters um, that are the same. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised you went on that side of the. On the side, on that side of Bill, mm. to be quite honest, yeah. But Emma, he doesn't Emma, have like an objective or anything, so maybe. Okay, now just he's like being Emma a nuisance to now? get okay. back over there. Yeah, he's just bouncing around. He's having a good time. Yeah, I I don't know about going into Emma here because now he's gonna. I think Color might have learned his lesson, and we're gonna see like a double spender. Uh, is what I'm worried about, but he uh, uh, did he attacked Emma like and he did no damage. Right, he did no damage. Yeah. Right, yeah, five dice into two is feels. I I take that attack. That seems pretty good, especially with, like how much power Emma has already. What what the hell is two more power going to make a difference of at this point? So yeah, so it turns out uh, she didn't get any more power because the no damage went through. But, <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Oops. But uh, yeah, so. And then Schmidt used like the one power he got from Bill to heal back to two, which is just perfect. So. Okay, looks like we're seeing a four dice attack. Uh, so this is Black Cat going into Wong. Oh, <laughs> she's doing it. Oh, here's the bump from Wong. Yeah, you think you can outrun her? Just <laughs> hop right on you. Not the wild. Yeah, the damage gets you the bleed, so there we go. Wong can clear Is it just that, damage bleed, I think though? so. Yeah, I think so, right? It's a wild wow, pierce yeah. damage bleed. Damn. Those claws got so sharp with the updates. I know, yeah. It's pretty wild. Let's see if she uh, can convert... Uh, the last two damage. Yeah, he's All right. going for it. Let's see this. Wong's rolling three. And we get two successes. Blocks it. Oh, Schmidt, uh, Wong, God rolls Wong. king. Yeah. <laughs> he's having none of that. Oh, man. Yeah, Nick says there's a lot of sexy Ultron on the table. Yeah, there's... Uh, he's... He's in a lot of places. He's, uh, we just saw Curtis and Mike both play him in the X-Men list and they did, uh, they're playing really well. Yeah, he seems incredibly good in X-Men. Yeah, like that was like Nate Horn's stack from Second Wind and although he might have got that from Vodka Blitz, I think, but. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, um. But still though, yeah, it's just such good tech. It's so great. Yeah, he's, uh. He's got, he just got. It's funny because I got absolutely like rolled. I completely annihilated by Mike's, uh, by Mike's X Men team with Ultron in it, and <laughs> it was so bad. Okay, but yeah, the um, yeah, and then they had a mirror match. The last round they played in the mirror, and it came down to like the wire. So it was a really, uh, it was really cool. Hopefully, um, hopefully that game is like put up on YouTube. But yeah, I'll definitely have to go back and watch that one. So. Yeah, there was like out of there was fifteen games and we streamed fourteen of them were streamed. So that's uh That's pretty impressive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just missed we missed one game, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, we have uh so we have Schmid going now, right? What am I seeing? Paying one power to heal himself or heal uh, 
He healed someone. Yeah. Well, hold on. It might have been himself or Ultron. I don't know. Wait, hold on. But we didn't see any in the in the dice history. I didn't see any. All right, we're rolling. We're rolling. Um, uh, Schmidt is doing a full re-roll here, so he uh, he already did the full re-roll now, and. Oh, okay, oh, here we go. Dagger. Okay. Yeah. Okay, he's throwing daggers at Emma. That's what the one power was for. And we're doing yeah. it again. Hell yeah, get her. Okay, so hold on. He's got the hit on it. So oh, he's he paying for Dane, Dane of Dumbala as Bane well. Dumbala, yeah, so he's rooting Hell it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's going to root uh, Emma and anyone within two because he rolled a hit or a wild in the roll, which allowed him to play the card. Yep. Yeah, that's really nasty. Yeah, uh, I don't know how big of an impact it's gonna have with um, with Emma already being loaded on power, but Rhino, it's going to slow him down, right? Because if he doesn't attack Rhino at all this turn, oh, I guess like he hasn't activated yet, but he basically he can't stampede right away, right? Uh, Correct. Caller, yeah. so, which is impactful. It might be a might come might be an impactful thing. So we have another attack. It looks like, and we have. Uh, three successes, but he cleared it. He's re-rolling, Got and it's four. uh he pushes through another two, what three, four damage. Uh, three damage, yeah. Three. Oh, because there's no pierce on this one. Yep, it's yeah, the, it's the okay. dagger. All right, so then uh, Emma is taking a couple hits here. Some strange stays on the point. I mean, you're you're winning, so you might as well not uh, rotate and just put some more damage in. I guess. Yep. Yeah, she uh, can heal two back with. Leadership and um, the extremist console, so she's not too imperiled at the moment, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, because there's an Ultron grunt that can kind of walk over and oh, take yeah. a free pot shot at her. And then, yeah, I don't know if uh, Schmidt's Ultron is doing much of anything this turn other than just walking up and living a life. Yeah, bad displacement on somebody yep. or something, but. Okay, yeah, so uh, that was Doctor Strange's activation. Yes, we've got Ultron, Wong, and Voodoo. And we're playing... Okay, there's the card played. Yeah, so we're seeing... Schmid still has priority here. So he's... Uh, yeah, Schmid has priority this turn, but he's going to lose it unless somebody gets dazed. Well, he's right um, he's about to go, right? Isn't he about to go? Oh, sorry, Caller's my bad. Caller's yeah. going, yeah, my bad. Okay, yeah, I, I mixed that up. All right, yeah, so Caller... Is activating. At, um, who are we paying looks on? Like you, uh, looks like you threw horns with Rhino at Doctor Strange. Okay, I see it now. Yep. And we have the bump from Doctor Strange getting closer yep. to Rhino. Rhino now has three power. Uh, yeah, <laughs> very sad. Can't stampede for extra dice. Just throw another five dice, it looks like. He attacked into Ultron. Oh, Ultron. Interesting. I just realized that um, that Schmidt didn't oh. bring Ironbound books, which is... Uh, I mean, he basically, he assumed he wouldn't get attacked enough for it to matter. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he's... Okay, yeah, he's using Rhino in here to throw the piece of terrain. Okay, so he's going to throw the car. You're saying throwing the car into Strange? Yeah. Yep, yeah, he's going to grab the car. It will like. um, it will get Ultron his uh, grunts back, grunts yeah. back yep, exactly. before he activates. Yeah, I honestly think attacking the grunts might have been the safer line there instead of Ultron, because now Ultron is... Yeah, that bumping, uh, getting back into the mission. a lot closer. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to see uh, that was two attacks from Rhino in the terrain throw, so he's all out of actions. So we're going to yep. see uh, it go back to Schmidt here. What am I? What am I seeing? He's 
He's using the leadership. Uh, use the leadership at the end of this turn, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about putting <laughs> your rhino who's holding a scroll into the Schmidt. That feels a little risky to me, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I I mean, I yeah, do have full health, but uh, I, four four attacks can like. Uh, uh, I think it's it's it'll be th no, it'll be four. Yeah, because it's two from the, the grunts, two yeah. from Ultron. It uh, might be. Yeah, tricky. That might be bad. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I don't know if Voodoo's going to end up doing anything until turn three or, or like till four, maybe. Maybe turn. Yeah, because there'll be like probably one more round unless Schmidt can get seven of the things, but I don't think that's happening. So, what turn, do you think? He so. just double walks and like wins a point over an injured character, and that's like, that's what, like. He, he does maybe it, like, yeah, next turn, possibly. <laughs> Sweepy Man says, uh, What's your opinion on Hydra and the current met in the meta currently? Johnny, what do you think? Uh, I think they're fine. I'm very perplexed by them because currently I'm like, I went one in three this uh lunch meat and then in the taco truck like um oh what is it called uh the juicy league i'm 4-0 playing in the finals like i beat leaf and uh zach cohen nice. i don't understand i currently i don't understand is it is it a similar list like were you playing very similar list the exact same list for both <laughs> that's events. so wild. so i i don't understand it <laughs> so but no i think they're pretty good i think they have like a lot of tricks do you have they're pretty they're probably like the best fair team if that makes sense right like they do like all of like this they do pretty much everything like pretty well they're like pretty like solid at like most things they have like a couple like goofy matchups like wizards and like strange Two just like bullies <laughs> red yeah. skull a lot yeah so that's kind of scary and then like there's a couple of models too that pick on them that i don't like they're scary <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I think they're pretty solid. I think they're like right up there with most of the other like factions. So, I um I like how like Zemo, for example, can grab something on round one, and he can, uh, and then he'll have the two power for the charge round two, which is like really uh, you can't do that in very many factions. And Hydra are like a very like they've got punch. They've got a lot of punch to them. Yep. Exactly. So it's um that extra power makes you it lets you play. With like strong uh, attrition type characters, but then also you're getting the power for the scenario teams too. I can, I like what their team offers, um, and uh, yeah, Vince Chan just uh, in our Canada versus USA event just was the uh, best player at the event. Yeah, he and went he three played, and all, uh, right? Yeah, he went uh, he and he played Hydra. I think he plays the Sleepy Hulk um, build a lot of the time. Yeah, but yeah, I have that option, yeah. but I don't. I use it occasionally. It's just a scenario set up i might have to watch his games and kind of download a little bit of what he's yeah. playing because like he was the inspiration for me to go i saw his list at second wind in person and it was filled with great determination to <laughs> play them so <laughs> that bob squad is so damn cool i know i gotta yeah, say I know. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is super it is super cool and uh yeah so uh, I don't know. Vince is uh, Vince is really uh, he. That's all he plays when he does play. He, he doesn't play very often. <laughs> yeah, he's been like deep in the Lorcano hole. I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So what do we have here now? We've got Ish. Uh, we've got. Uh, so Wong Schmid just went before. Ultron. Okay. He healed. I think he threw hands at Black Cat. Did nothing, and then he healed. No, he didn't do anything. He just healed and uh, cleared the bleed. Is what it looks like. Right. Okay, so uh, we've got... How did no, he do that? How did he remove the stagger off of the drones? Uh, so if you hover above the model's head, there's like a little red button. If you like highlight the condition that's on them, and then you can right-click it off. Oh, wow. So I've never known to do that. That's very yep. cool. Um, I yeah, like I like how the white... Uh, condition that way. And, yeah. and when you do that, it comes out on the chat. 
Yep. Which is actually like, uh, wow, I'm going to start doing that because that's just way better than just uh, it coming off. And I like how it, the chat records it, basically. Yeah, exactly. It's like it makes it a lot cleaner and like more apparent instead of just like right clicking it off your little placard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have an attack uh, from. Uh, okay. Whoa. Hold on. Who's attacking who here? Because uh, Ultron, Schmidt's Ultron just took five damage. Uh, I think Ultron was attacking Ultron there. Okay, gotcha. Because the grunts came, they, I don't think they, they made an attack, I think. I don't know if they did anything, and then... Oh, I see. Yeah. That, okay, I see. I'm all caught up. So Wong, so Wong going and basically giving a pass, let Collar, open the door for Collar to go with Ultron before Schmidt yep. got to go with his. Exactly, And yeah. so now we're doing, um, was that two attacks? Or is that, oh, here we go. No, it was one attack. And here's a second attack. Six. It was a spender now. Holy moly. We've got a spender. So lots of things going on with the hit wild trigger. Uh, explosive. And we've got the throw. Okay, so it was into strange. No, so the I think the explosion happened and Strange took a damage. Oh, it wasn't just Strange. Yeah, it wasn't Strange because he moved because he moved Strange. So I figured that must have the throw part of it must have happened on him. Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, and then we've got the splash damage that should be going on to everyone within two of Ultron. So it looks like that's what the range is they're checking now. Well, I think Sh did Schmid's grunts explode? Is that what he's checking? I'm, uh, I'm, I, you know, I can only see like I wish I uh, these things weren't uh, were three D models because I can barely tell what which ones which. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. The Ultron drones on color side. Um, oh, <laughs> he threw the oh, he, oh, did he, he throw threw the strange, strange into, into his, his own grunts? grunts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's, then that got them. And that happens before damage is dealt, right? With a hit wild trigger on, on the tyrant. Is that after? I or is so. that I've got it here. After. Yeah, so you do the throw, which triggers the collision, which triggers the grunts blowing up. Which then but then also after that you have the explosive force. What a what a spender. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. <laughs> um and did, okay, so so I think uh, so. Here's the thing: is that the damage from the dr the grunts? Uh, okay, so, like this is crazy because like when does convocation get to interact? I guess they have to wait until all the uh, attackers' effects are resolved before they get to do their bump. Yeah. So I'm I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. Uh, I think he's doing the bump and he's bumping out of range okay. of uh, Ultron throw. Gotcha. Is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. So that was two attacks from Ultron. Ultron has three power left, so he's probably going to. Uh, he's looking. He's throwing the bike. It looks like. Yeah, and that'll like bring back his own grunts, which is just fine. Make him like block. Yeah. He's throwing it at Schmidt's grunts. He's okay with like Rhino taking a couple points of damage. Or, right. Like, points of damage yeah. potentially. Uh, nope, they survive. Hooray. <laughs> And the grunts come back. They come back with the stagger, which is very goofy, but and okay. uh, and throwing into uh, so Schmid's Ultron le le uh, staying on one power means that uh, he gets a full activation here. Yeah, this will be big. <laughs> so. Yeah, and not and the, because they didn't die, he gets these uh, four. He gets four attacks into Rhino like he was hoping to. We have a sacrifice, so it's going to probably. Go on to Ultron, maybe from Rhino to Ultron, uh, or oh, hold on, what is he? What's oh no, sorry, Schmid played sacrifice. Did he sacrifice onto Strange? Oh, initially? I think yeah, I think Strange got sacrificed too. Is what happened. Yeah, and now okay. he's just flipping it. So okay, yeah, because I assume he like tried to take down Ultron because stealing two activations and a scenario point is would have been huge. So. Okay, so now let's see uh, what he does here with uh, with Ultron. He's in range of attacking everybody. Collar still has fallback, so I don't know if he'll be able to take down Ultron with 
Uh, actually, maybe you could, potentially. I guess it depends on like how the grunts do and everything. But the grunts being in range of each other is very funny. That they can both like explode and deal damage to each other. Yeah, they can just like boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> yeah, that's totally that's that is kind of a cool interaction. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. I wonder what the uh, what the debate is here. Uh, I guess it's like target. Yeah, who he wants to attack? Because like potentially, what could happen is if Schmidt attacks Rhino with the grunts. With oh the yeah, I see. You're saying he can plop him right to the other side of the grunts and not be attacked by Ultron. So you just exactly. you throw attacks into someone else. Oh, yeah, oh look, I'm on three. That's totally fair. Yeah, he's checking in ranges. Yeah, it's a little far because Ultron throws 15 inches, right? Because it's a uh, He's a range four on his gun. So that would be what? So you're saying a range four is eight inches? Yep. And, and then you're saying uh, medium, yeah, it's 15 in total. So what's well, because the medium and plus and medium base is seven or approximately or? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like just, it's like seven inches. Yeah. So then like a long, yeah. It's a range five and a medium stick is 15. So. But yeah, he looks like Emma's out. So Emma is safe from. Ultron, it looks like. So. Yeah, so the, the problem is, like, do you even want to attack Rhino at all? Because he... Um, huh, it's tricky. Uh, because Rhino is going to... He's going to be on two power, which sucks for him and Root on him. So it's like... Ugh. And then Ultron, like, neither of these targets are, like, I want to attack. And maybe that's why he's kind of, like, stalled out here. Because it's like, if I attack Ultron, he's going to have power to do the spender again. And, like, yep, hurt exactly. me. Um, so let's see, he's doing, uh, we're rolling, so we're rolling uh, a... I think he attacked into Rhino here. We got a, a massive failure. We got two, uh, four... Yep, pooped his pants a little, that's okay. Second Why attack. are we rolling four? Oh, these are the grunts, okay? These, these are, are the grunts. grunts attacking, yeah. And Rhino took a couple points of damage there. Wow, big uh, hit yeah. from the... This is the, I must be the attack into with... Yeah, what? Gonna... This was the grunts? Wow. Holy yeah, that was the grunts. That's insane. Yeah, grunts. Six, the five grunts. successes. They cost uh, yeah. nothing. <laughs> they're, they're a zero threat character and just <laughs> rolled five successes. That's how grunts work. I know. I know, right? It's... Yeah, it looks like you can just fit in there. Perfect. Oh, you're not. You're still... Um, Did he check the range 4 on Ultron, though? Like, I don't know. Like, I think you're just going to die. Uh, He's definitely within range 4 of Ultron. He, I don't think he could have gotten out of So, uh, So I guess the only thing that... that co maybe Color is considering the fact that uh, Ultron can't pick up the scroll. So it's like you're... Uh... That too. And if, and if Rhino survives, you take the point as well. Like, guaranteed. Uh, Sofalo says, uh, Johnny, when are you going to fix your smoke detector? <laughs> it's, it's very, there's a very faint, uh, beeping happening in the background of your, <laughs> oh, I don't even hear that. So, oh, really? I've gotten, yeah, oh, oh, you're so, oh, you're just cause you've heard it. <laughs> no, that's funny. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't think I hear it. I've gotten, I've gone to too many concerts, a youth and my ears are shot now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, uh, for the sake of your safety. Um, I guess I'll have to go replace check that uh, out, replace yes. your the batteries in your uh, smoke alarm. Yes, that is a good call. Thank you. <laughs> so thank thank your buddy Softlow. Yes, thank you, Brady. I appreciate it. Uh, nobility says I'm late to the party. Let's go, Schmitty. Yeah, he's uh, he's doing really well. He's up on. Uh, he's oh, I don't know, it's hard to say. He's put a lot of damage on Collar, and he's up on points. And uh, it looks like he's going to be up on points after this round too. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if Schmid will. He could potentially move the grunts, get onto the point heal one on Ultron as well, and kind of like make it a little harder to clean him up next turn. I, I don't think he's going to take that line, but it's an option. It's there. <laughs> so. Okay. So let's see. Uh, does he have like he has? 
He's still debating this first action on Ultron. Yeah, I think he's... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, I think he's going to walk... There we go. The grunts? Yep, yeah, he, he walked them. <laughs> so... Uh, giving him space to to move there. Uh, yeah, potentially. We'll see what happens. Uh, looks like he's throwing a spender on someone. Okay, is it, is the spender range two? I thought it was range two. Uh, maybe it's range three. It's range three. Wow. That is, uh, wild. Okay. He's looking at fallback. He rolled, okay, so he rolled the spender already. And did four, did uh, enough to do uh, two damage to Rhino. And yep. the throw. I guess is what I'm seeing. Oh, hold on. Did he threw into Rhino and then did another point and the and the uh, and then the grunts exploded doing another point. Exactly. Yep. So both <laughs> wow. So we've had back to back pretty much uh grunt collision explosions. <laughs> Just like robot body parts are flying everywhere. I don't know why I used the short stick to put out the tool or the scroll yeah, but that's okay i guess whatever uh, it's a little uh, it's a little extra a few millimeters yeah all right well he's got another action here yep probably just go into the point and get some help yeah back. so now that um you can test that he's gonna be winning it though right because bill and that's bill and rhino right there uh no that's uh ultron who are the blue? Oh, the blue are Ultron. Okay, so he would he would yeah. stop. The, the top one is Ultron, the big base is Rhino, and then the grunts are the lowest base. I see now. Point. Yeah, okay, though then there's Bill. He's a 3D model. Okay, so he's moving Ultron away to uh so because he's scoring a VP already with this scroll. Yeah, no reason not to like to expose him, I guess, and it forces although with like the amount of power that Rhino has, that's a pretty easy cleanup for him, so yeah, it might be a risky move. It is. Just, um, it is interesting. Yeah, Rhino is definitely going to be able to get Ultron next turn for sure. I like yeah. unless he has like terrible, terrible dice. But we're going to see Emma Spender into Rhino here. I'd imagine. There's the four power. Here's the roll. We had a. <laughs> all right. Um, we've got. Here's the defend straight. Defense straight. I don't know how you say that, but uh, all right. And Got him for one can't point brace of that. Uh, sure, can't. only one point damage. Is that what you said? Oh, gosh. yeah, it's just yeah, he rolls really bad. Oh, yeah. but the throw, but the throw will push another one through. <laughs> yep, just give Rhino all the power. Yeah, all yeah, he the problem is the problem is he gets to it. The problem is that he I can bump out of the way after that, right. Sure can. <laughs> so he, yeah, it's like you're yeah. gonna you're gonna be out of range from attacking him. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Potentially, that's a tr that's tricky. Wow, Rhino in uh, playing against Rhino here seems very uh, much more complicated than I thought. Like against a Convocation Rhino. Yeah, Convocation's really good. I think they're they're really underrated right now. So, yeah, he's choosing not to throw. It looks like. Yep. So he's uh, he's a push through reason. four more damage though, which is three plus the throw. Uh, it's a little tough, but he's gonna do the spender again. Yep. He can't roll bad again, can he? Oh no! It can't possibly uh, happen. Yes, there, there it is. Just, just kidding. Ooh. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he he so did no damage, uh, and a th but a throw. Yep. Ah, uh, that's uh, that's pretty rough. Um, it does gain. Uh, actually, you get the you get the point. Oh, so, you're saying he's gonna aggress it back onto the point? Uh he can't. He didn't take damage from the attack. Oh, okay, okay. He could bump though, potentially, and with where he's at. This is this point. is why he's measuring to not make the collision, because of the yep, it, exactly. would, it might be too close to bump in. Yeah. It still yeah, might be. <laughs> uh he didn't take damage from that attack, so he can't bump. Oh yes, yeah, yes, yes. Good call. Thank you for being a better player than I am. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're pretty great, so <laughs> uh, no. Okay, 
So we're uh, having Voodoo move with a bump. Oh, uh, he just like moved. Okay, he's just going a little too fast. But here we go. I, yeah, I think he uh, measured off the wrong thing here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's right. like a, it's like a playing like a freaking. He's in a. He's like a. I don't know a race. Um, I'm <laughs> yeah. trying to think. I can't even. think. Yes. My brain is. <laughs> You've had a very long day. You've been uh, playing games. I eight a.m. my time. So yeah. yeah. It's like eleven hours of just straight games. <laughs> oh, you're on the. Uh, you're in uh, Pacific. Uh, Central. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm an hour behind you. Yeah, and you guys started. Oh, we started at we started at eleven. Uh, yeah. So okay, you started okay. at ten, but still, yes, yes, it was. Uh, it was three intense games. Uh, so my brain is my brain is kind of tired. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so we are seeing uh the next round goes thirteen to ten for Schmidt. He's got this round here, He's looking to close it out. He already has enough points to win the game on the board. Let's see what happens uh, when the round is over. Yeah, I wonder if Wong is in range of getting that scroll there. <laughs> he could just walk, pick it up, and then assuming he passes the check, he can just walk right back onto his point and live his best life. Yeah. Just tanking Black Tank, Cat some yeah. more. <laughs> uh, Strange is pretty actionable here too by Ultron. If Caller wanted to go that route. Yeah. The... Uh... What do, yeah, so what do we have here? Ultron. Can yeah, you get grunt you attacks can't. and two just base attacks? Might, well, it's one grunt attack because he brought the grunts back, so they are staggered this turn. Okay, that's right. So uh, you're are you saying go into Strange and then and try yeah, to get one that's attack into Ultron or something? Uh, Yeah, I mean, well, with Strange, you throw like the energy attack and then you can throw two of the six die attacks into him. And okay, like we're seeing uh, we're seeing going to strange. One goes through on strange. Yep. So this is the grunts again, probably doing another. Oh no, he is staggered. So yeah, that was yeah, one attack. Yeah, they only have the one action. Yeah. Now we have Ultron going. Uh, we've got the bump on strange. Uh, so Schmidt is opting to leave him there. Yeah, there's no reason to like move off the point at this point. Okay. Here we go. Another roll. Uh, this is five. What am I? Oh, six dice. Yeah, but it just yep. whiffs. Just it. two hits. Yeah, I don't know. If and it's a reverse pierce as nothing. No, we wouldn't want to, right? It's, he had reverse pierced it. I know it's a physical attack. Um, for Ultron's. Ultron. Ultron's energy is the builder. Okay. Uh, either way, okay. he pushed through four. He must have done. What did he do? Six dice. Um, isn't yeah. this energy? I thought it was physical. I'm pretty sure Ultron concussion was... blasters are energy. Six dice energy. Oh, he what rolled the six hell? dice. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, yeah, weird. Very weird. Because he had two wilds, so he could have negated uh, the damage. I'm um, maybe uh, there was just maybe this is just what happens when you just play too fast. <laughs> That's my. I don't know. Like, did yeah. we miss something? I don't. I don't think so. I think we just. I think Schmidt just. Uh, uh, I think he took the one from the first attack, and then the second. Or he took nothing. Cranked him for four. Okay. Schmidt well, says. Three. Schmidt said in the chat. Uh, he negated. He negated first attack. Took three yep. from second attack and one from Grunts. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah okay. So this was this is the second attack. Okay. Gotcha. They're, we just they were playing so fast that a second attack happened. Yep. Um. That we just didn't see. So anyway, he survives. And yep, it looks like he's we're getting a this is exactly yeah. yeah Ultron's bowing Strange, which seems good because like with where Strange was, he was in AOE position, a pretty good AOE position at that. Uh, it's not yes, the best yes. into uh, Ultron, but the other two is. I mean the healing though, right? You might get the uh, you might get some wild shields, and, and all of a sudden your character is like not as close exactly. to dying. Yeah, you have three targets. Like, uh, but yeah, yeah the ice are saying the drones. Yeah. The drones might like undo it, I guess. But um, they could, yeah, potentially they could have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Schmidt has his whole team to go here. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's kind of forced with the strange activation, though. Unless he wants, unless he's fine losing them. Yeah, the problem is like you're gonna lose Ultron or Strange if you don't go with either of them. Like Rhino might be able to just actually get both of them. 
right? Like a fire, a gore into a strange and then a yeah. stampede into Ultron. So you kind of yeah. also, you kind of, exactly. you have to pick one of them. You need one of them to go. Um, yeah. And all of these characters on color side are all like they have their full yeah. health. So it's like, yeah, they're... Bill is totally full now. He really only just needs to protect. Just needs to protect, protect Ultron. Yeah, uh, just or Wong too. Yeah, Wong yeah, or Ultron, yeah. and then Voodoo is just big chilling over there. So, well, I think so. I think that like if uh, if he protects Ultron for now, and then Rhino gets Ultron, then Wong has an opening to grab the so scroll. They, yeah, exactly. And then and now it's like now you have to go after Wong, and that's just too much, and that's why it looks like Schmidt is going after after Bitter, Bill but, here because yeah. he know he yep. can kind of see that Rhino has to go after Ultron, and oh, him. that's. Oh, that's so dirty too. Because currently Emma Frost only has the one power, and because of the poison, oh, uh, so she couldn't mind shield him. Which oh is, yeah, uh, wow. So that poison sick comes as in. Hell. The poison coming in clutch. Yeah. Oh, because yeah, because she spent uh, four for two spent eight for two spenders, and then one for her to heal herself. The heal exactly. So yeah. the heal, the heal is kind of messing oh, everything up here. The dagger of <laughs> strange Dag- coming through clutch. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so then, uh, yeah, and all of those things happen with Schmid's Rhino still, uh, being able to, like, do whatever he wants to do. Yeah, Rhino can also then, yeah, he has enough power, too, to, like, basically walk Stampede anywhere, and he can contest any point. Even if Wong, like, dies somehow to Black Cat, he can pretty, I'm pretty sure he can clear that distance with, what is that distance? It's 11 inches plus three bases, so, like, 18 inches almost. That should get there. We're pretty close to it. Yeah, it looks like Strange is... So he just got Bill the hell out of there. He's just going to scalpel himself or or Rhino. Okay. Or maybe he'll walk and grab that point. Yeah. So he's... All right, there we go. So then he's going to use his uh, second action to move onto the scroll. Is that what you're you're saying? I I think so, yeah. I think that's where he's about to go next. Yeah, and now, now you have to deal with... Uh, yeah, there's just too many problems, I think, at this point. Rhino. Yeah, he, he's definitely threatening a lot of scenario pressure at this exact moment, so. Stamp, you're gonna, you have to stampede into, let's see. So, hold uh, on, Schmid, uh, using his second action here, what's he doing? Uh, it looks... Oh, he killed the grunts. Okay. To get power. He took a damage. Oh! <laughs> what did, uh, what that, did he do? So he killed the grunts. Okay. He then used the bump to bump onto the point. Oh, oh my god. And then he used another scalpel and healed the point of damage to put his Ultron over in the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Just strange bodying people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh! Big yeah, brain that, plays. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is a heads Jesus, up, incredible, play. glorious. Love it. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that is actually sick. Okay, all right, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Yeah, and then especially too with like where he put those other two models that like body blocks out Bill too, so he has to take kind of like an awkward line. To yeah, like I saw that that there. medium tool go out. Yeah, the medium like, tool like right like, between the two, perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. All right. So we're seeing a an attack from. Well, hold on. Where, where, why are we seeing three? It's Rhino. Okay. All right. Gotcha. He's that's he's placing before damage. He did no damage though, so that doesn't really help him. Yeah. And he's not like within he's one of the just short. There, so that that yeah. bounce that Schmidt did also um, got him away because he was like Rhino would have been able to do that and grab that yep. scroll, but. Exactly. Uh, um, yeah, it looks like he's stampeding and he's going to go after Ultron after, anyways. So. Yeah, yeah. Because Bill can at least like want, like throw a summon the storm into Strange, right? To like get him off the point. Exactly, or kill so. him. Or he can just double walk and throw. All right, let's see if he... Yes, that's fair. Yeah. Um, so we're seeing... Okay, big hit. Ultron is going to go down here. He's going to drop the scroll, so Rhino will get this. Yep. <laughs> All right. Wong just needs uh, to hold. <laughs> do we see? Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say like, do we just see Wong double double walk towards the Voodoo's point? 
Or he's uh, going to grab Rhino? the scroll. Okay, grab the scroll is also yeah. the reason he's going to go for it. Yeah, he's definitely in range, it looks like, so should be easy enough. Rhino also has enough jets, too, to walk all the way over to Strange's point and out contest Bill, if need be. I'm pretty sure he has distance there. Yeah. But then Emma can, has something to say about it, potentially. Because, yeah, with, like, with Ultron dazing, it means Schmid will have one less activation. Right. He's just got, uh, just got Voodoo Rhino. Like, he has that, uh, he can pass right here. He's looking for uh, a... Here's Wong. Wong. Oh, yeah, Wong is going right now. But he's... What is this? Oh, what it's oh he's there. walking. Okay. He's walking Rhino yeah. to throw the thing into into Collar's Emma, yep, who blocks exactly. nothing and gets got. Okay, well, she just goes in the toilet. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Emma. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Emma can't brace. And then just she had, wasn't, wasn't Brace already spent? I think Brace was already spent. Uh, okay. Brace was already blown earlier. Yeah. So, yeah, there's... Um, all right, now, I think this is... Now, there's no mathematical chances. I don't know, right? I'm, yeah, I think that's checkmated at this point now. Um, one, two. She yeah, hasn't. She hasn't. Oh yeah, vodka blitz, of course. Uh, she has a brace on her card, but of course the uh, the poison, the poison just keeps coming up. Yeah, <laughs> uh, she's also rooted too, so she. Oh has yeah. Three power to use that. <laughs> yeah, Bane also coming in. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's uh, very interesting. That. Um... Okay. So, yeah, we're seeing Schmid have two, four points on the board, five points on the board right now. Uh, with yep. Wong grabbing this, it'll be three, four. Yeah, it'll be two extracts and three secures. Yep. Yeah, and if need be, if Schmid wants to go be a bully too, he can also potentially get within range three of Black Cat if she sticks around there with Voodoo, just possess her and then just walk away and laugh to the bank and just walk back to his point. <laughs> if he wants to be a yeah. jerk about it. Okay, so... Oh, I guess... Oh, uh, there it just is. one-shotted Wong. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> She's got another action here. She's going to... Looks like... Just walk. <laughs> the problem is you're just like... Um, okay, you you need to not be possessed is what Kolar is thinking here. Yep, yeah, he's checking that right now. That's exactly what he's looking at. It's really close with her being on the point and stuff, whether yeah. or not Voodoo will be in. That's what he's yeah. trying his best to. Yep, just go to the far back as possible. Okay, so so here we go. Voodoo is healthy. It's just like I said, like two turns ago. Yeah, I ago. suppose it just, yeah, it and doesn't the matter. Double move, like you can just, double move yeah, just here beating her now move take the point yeah and then just possess her too just to laugh so now bill has to uh this yeah so this is where it's um it's now it's over because bill has to deal with both rhino and strange um because he can't reach voodoo and he and so he can't do that because so rhino's going to get a point and voodoo's going to get two giving schmid uh 16 yep he got it on the nuts yeah and so we have uh, Bill throwing Strange. So Color's going to score two, I think, here. Uh, he'll just get... Yeah, the two. One for Rhino, one for... Oh, no, sorry. Cat got possessed, so never mind. Yeah, Cat, no. Yeah, he stole it from Cat, too, because it was over at that point. Yeah. Yeah, so he has the one on Rhino and one for Bill. And now Strange is bumping, too, just to go set up <laughs> the grab for next turn if he needs. <laughs> Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we're going to see it go to 16, right? Oh, yep, yeah, yeah 16 okay, to go. 12, yeah. Okay, well, I, I mean, that's it. We don't, this is just a playback, so we don't have uh, a question period at all or anything like that. No post game interviews uh, right, right after this or anything. So I guess uh, that's it for the stream. And uh, thanks, Johnny, for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this was a lot of fun again. We yeah. should just keep these going every I, month. Uh, I'm, I am 100% <laughs> yeah. on the same page. Uh, hopefully, I uh, I get to stream it. I mean, I'd like to be in the final. but uh, Yeah, me, but me too. Is... I've definitely had a bad run as well. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, either way, we'll get the next uh, finals on stream too. So, all right. Uh, thank you for joining us and uh, have a good night, guys. Yeah. Catch you later, everyone.